Savile with the ball out to Connor Hunt again. Taking on Godswell as he got the pace, not just yet. Good block play by Mo. Kept the ball very, very well. And it's switched now by Baker to Alex Gwomia. Scored a couple of goals for the youth team on Friday night. He's the youth team's top scorer this season. Although Islam Farouz hasn't really been playing a lot of youth team football. This is Baker from distance and he's never afraid to shoot. As Clive was mentioning, dangerous with both feet yeah, from any I, kind of range. And I don't mind this shot. Barcelona well organised at the moment at the back. I think it's going to take a goal to change things, Ben. From what we've seen so far, you know, it's been uh, quite a closed affair. You know, it's been a lot of midfield play. One or two mistakes, not too many, but... There was one there. As well. And here goes Adama again. He's got two in the middle, including Herrera. And he tried to pick him out. And it could have gone anywhere. The follow-up shot is blocked brilliantly on the line. By well, Todd Kane, I think that was uh, Quesada, the captain, coming in there. And Chelsea escape and might even turn it into something at the other end. Kiwamia, disappointing. Yeah, what a shame that he didn't uh, pass the ball on past line and see if you can block it when the shot comes in. Confident and neatly done. Danger not over yet. Barcelona pressing in numbers. Club trait. Nothing doing there, apparently. Well, we've got away with that one. That was a bad push in the back. And, but can we make something of it? That's the question. Todd Kane now going forward. They certainly have committed when they've gone forward. Barcelona and Kiwami have skipped past Lucas as if he wasn't there. Great chance to find Farouz, who had his head in his hands now because that ball should have been on his foot. And that's ambitious from Todd Kane, who can strike a 35 yard like the best of them, it has to be said, just not that time. Well, there's the foul. I mean, it's a surely terrible, clumsy foul right in front of the lineswoman there. Really should should have done better. We got away with it, but again, great counter attacking. You know, forget about what's gone on. Play to the whistle. Todd getting forward. Alex Kwamia skipping around his fullback. Super play. Good delivery. He's tried to do the right thing, thing, and that's all we can ask. The ball forward. Bagnax, the one who got the goal against Tottenham here. The one in the full one. Todd Kane is the one who has uh, denied Barcelona an opening goal in this last 16 tie. Here's Abuelet. They're still going. Great chance this. Beanie saved well with his foot. Danger not over. Fired in again. Beanie spilt it. Davy cleared it. And Chelsea get away with it. Well, that's the second one we've got away with. And falling over easy. That dive, if you like. That's what it was. And great play by Boga. Wonderful balance. He must have ridden five challenges already, and he's got the pass off here to Kiwami. It's worth a hit. Fair enough to have the strike. Longoa makes a pretty comfortable save in the end, but that's a little glimpse of what felt for the back pass again from Davey. There have been a, a few little wobbles like that at the back involving the, uh, well, three of the back four and the keeper, but uh, away it comes for now. Yeah, it's just been a little bit... Um, that fear from Mitchell to, to play the ball long, isn't it? He's done well there for us, he's kept the ball in. He really has. Very well. I was just thinking we've seen a lot of him yet, and uh, you don't often see a lot of him, doesn't stop him scoring goals. Here's Boga, again wriggled away from a problem and bought himself a bit of time, another lovely little shimmy from Boga. Nicely done, Todd Kane, flags up. What so a shame. Unlucky. So unlucky, and again, Jeremy Boga in a great position. Just they're hoping that will develop, and we always talk about development. But he certainly looks a, a character we're going to have to keep an eye on with his pace. See many uh, teenage footballers with thighs like that. Goodness me, here comes Todd Kane. He's always full of running himself. And he got hold of that one all right. Nando has made a right mess of it. And Farouz was nearly there to benefit. And may still, Alex Kiwomia, Chelsea corner. It's a great break. Marie and the fourth official are all local. <laughs> I'm saying nothing other than that, but they are. You don't get to well, that's what I said a little bit earlier on in the game, Ben, about the nature of the way we play our football. It's a little bit more physical. Little chance there for Farouz. It was a instinctive three goals that took Chelsea to a 3-1 lead over Ajax in the final of these six group games. Chelsea had to lose that game by something stupid to nil to not get through to it. In a sense, the result was a 
fairly dead one, but it finished three each. And, uh, as a result, Chelsea finished third in the group. Here goes Herrera away from Saville. Still going Herrera. Right, Alex Davey had to time that challenge perfectly, and it's a good job he did. He is one of those, and I'm not sure how many of those there are left. That There was four of the other lot, and one of you, and a ball in the middle. He'd think, yeah, I can come out with this. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people today probably wouldn't think that, but he, he definitely would. Here's Boga, and he's got options either side. If he can get it right, and he can. Todd Kane for Roos. First blood, Chelsea. Islam Farouz, back fit just about, and back on the score sheet. It's just great play, Ben, isn't it? I mean, Jeremy with Bogle, we haven't seen a great deal of him, but we've seen some lovely little skills. That's great play by him. Lovely filter pass. Todd Kane, as we know, will run beyond as often as he possibly can. Keeps his cool. Farouz stays on side. That was important. A lovely little pass. Just takes the goalkeeper totally out of the equation. Yes, Todd could have scored but also he can hit it straight at the keeper. But he takes the keeper completely out of it, and it's a simple tap. Ebuele, first touch took him inside Kane. It was very well done by Alan Ebuele. But uh, he went at the side that Beanie always had covered. And they always tell you not to. Of course, sometimes you have to go for near post. needs to be developed. Good play by Davey. Right? And, uh, Bogey, Boga, rather, oh, was... Uh, on the run then, in case he could be on the end of the Davy ball. Davy looked for Connor Hunt instead. Hunt is doing the chasing around now. On Doa, out to Robert. The exotic nicknames he's got. He goes by the name of Robert. It's a late challenge. Okay, we'll see another trouble. card here. Hunt, well, if it is Connor Hunt, he's yep. already been booked. He's off. That looked like a straight red, not a second yellow. But uh, Chelsea down to ten within, what, two minutes of this second half here. I'm, I can't understand the decision. It will have to be changed. Doom will have to change something. You just feel that, well, a rash decision could cost us. We don't know yet, of course. Let's hope it doesn't. But, you know, it's going to be an onslaught. It's going to be Barcelona with even more possession. And they're just going to keep coming at us time and time again. It's all back. And then God's will was thinking about a pile driver, but George Savile got there first. Just realised I forgot John Terry's name from the list of uh, red cards against Barcelona. Look at Boga go again. Wonderful balance and so nearly got that ball through for Alex Gwomya. I just can't believe the little holes he runs through and keeps the ball at his feet. It really is very impressive. Yeah, and he needs to keep doing it, especially this evening. Herrera's done it there, deflection, corner. So it's OK, we've got a block in, it's going to happen, and they're going to have shots. Have done next to nothing, the number 10, so... Uh, 16, Babunski, and 18, Sanabria. The forwards who are on. Let's see what they've got to offer. There's an early touch for the former there. Furthest up appears to be Babunski. And uh, Sanabria just in behind. And of course, Barcelona suddenly having almost all of the ball. It's inevitable then, unfortunately. You know, it's going to happen that way in the best of positions. And just to go to ground like that, though. Boga. But uh, Bagnac actually got in there before. Boga could get there, Lewis Baker's had it gifted back to him. As I've said, he's not had too many touches, but he's had a few very good ones there, Lewis Baker. And if nothing else, he's won the corner, he's well done, done him. Yeah, brilliant, we haven't seen anything of him. Once he does get on the ball, we know how good he can be. Showing how good his balance is, Nervy now. Getting towards the last ten minutes, and obviously nerves are being frayed somewhat. And just want every decision to go our way, and to the lads to make the right connection on the ball when they're defending. Reese Mitchell could have been the Fernando Torres there, the, the counter-attacking bloke who uh, seals the tie with a, a breakaway goal. Still time. Still time for anything. Here's Adama. 12 minutes left of the 90. Adama's cross. First good one he's managed all night long. And the ground is stumped by Bavunski. 
who feels he should have done better. Yeah, well, not one and a couple on the edge. Just don't think it's their style, Ben. I think his players arriving from deep, but they were very deep. There. Very deep. Maybe they're they're getting a bit tired as well. Sam Pair. Beanie has to palm it over. I mean, technically, that's a close effort, but I almost feel like that's running out of ideas, Clive. Adama, Savile came across. Oh, oh, he won the ball. I mean, did he buy the man and yeah, then take the ball? I think his problem is, Ben, he's lent in here. If he doesn't lean in, I think he wins the ball anyway, George, but as we know, that's his style. Parried, great chance for God's will. And Chelsea... Hold on, great with defending. seven minutes to go. Great defending in the end, getting a parry by Mitchell, just put the ball in his path. I think if he hits his first time, he, he scores all day long, but he doesn't, he takes a touch. Sam Pet. Oh, Barcelona ramping it up and just dropping, dropping deeper. It's the sort of inevitable thing that seems to happen when someone has a goal lead with a few minutes to go. Adam and Diti gets ahead on it. That'll do. Anything will for now. Just don't need rash challenges now, do we? Just need to stay focused on the ball. Good defending there by Reese Mitchell. He's got that well to, to block. We know he's got pace. Used it well there on Adama. Just think there, if he makes the right decision, God's will. There we see, just stumbling and a bumbling slightly. Flick on and flicked over by Beanie. I just think he's, he's a bit unsure here, Mitchell, whether to come. Didn't know where to make a challenge for the header. Forget about the tiredness. Adrenaline should do them, I guess, Clive, from what they have left. Just keep reminding themselves of where they are, Ben. I'm sure the adrenaline will kick in. Savile trying to get in the way and does. And got a nick on the shot that came in from Bavonski. Thank thankfully, he did. I mean, he stood off the ball for him. Don't but John me telling Adam and Diti, uh, there's no hurry to take this. That's Although, better. that's better. Hello, Lewis Baker. Little shift to Savile. Maybe a chance here for Boga. And still going. Boga! That'll do, yep! Bang on 90 minutes. Chelsea into the quarterfinals. Three added minutes won't matter now because there's a cushion. Jeremy Boga, the schoolboy, who's been fantastic. Oh, and hello, we've got the ball flying in here. We don't need that. We don't need that, George Savile. Get back. You're going through. Well, they, now they should walk away. You know, they've made their point. Now just walk away. It's up to the referee to make this decision. He's made it with two yellow cards. Lewis Baker getting involved. Just move away. That's it. Get him out of the action. Because we just scored. This is about us winning the game. Don't lose your heads. And the referee enjoyed getting those out, but uh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Drops his shoulder, doesn't get the best of first touches. The second touch was brilliant, just to take it outside the fullback, who for me has probably been the weak link, Lucas. Not been good at all. And that's a quality finish by Jeremy Bogan, I'm sure. <laughs> Dermot Drummy doesn't show it, but he's happy. He's jumping in there, I tell you. He's absolutely jumping. I think uh, he's been a bit lenient. That's offside. Flag will go up, doesn't matter. There's the whistle. Frustration for Barcelona, joy for Chelsea. The Blues have never been that popular here and they won't be after tonight either. But we've seen this one before. The Blues all in white celebrating away to Barcelona with a fantastic rear guard action. Farouz in the first half, Boga late in the second. It's a really good rear guard action this for a Chelsea side who are normally lauded for their attacking play. But, uh, well done all, well done all indeed. Chelsea are into the quarterfinals of the next-gen series. They've beaten Barcelona, would you believe it, by two goals to nil.